Recently, Dead by Daylight has been making some changes that help make the game feel better. The role incentives both give players some more blood points and help to reduce queue times. The ability to save both perks and cosmetic loadouts is also very nice. These are examples of some quality of life changes. In case you're unsure of what a quality of life change is, it is essentially any change that makes things more convenient for players. Today I'm going to go over a few quality of life changes that I think could improve Dead by Daylight. Quality of life change 1. See challenge progress mid game. If you're like me, when you load into a trial, one of your primary goals is to complete your rift challenge. Challenges have become a big part in how many players play the game on both sides, but despite this, we still can't see our challenge progress mid-match. I think allowing players to see their progress mid-match has many benefits. Some challenges require you to spend a certain amount of time doing a specific action. Knowing exactly when you're done the challenge can be tricky and this can lead to players overdoing the challenge to be safe. This can be a problem when the challenge requires you to essentially throw the game. For example, in this rift there is a challenge to spend 2 minutes within 10 meters of the killer without being caught. A lot of survivors would spend the whole game next to the killer to ensure they get it done in one game, ignoring the main objective. If they could check their progress mid-match, then they would only throw for the 2 minutes it would take to do the challenge. Quality of life change 2, a perk search bar. This is a conceptually simple change. There are currently 213 perks in Dead by Daylight, and having to quickly say the ABCs in your head every single time you're looking to change perks isn't ideal. If there was a perk search bar, all you'd have to do is type the first bit of the perk name, and you'd have your desired perk much faster than searching through all the other perks. Quality of life change 3. Solo queue improvements. I think it's safe to say that solo queue is the weakest role in Dead by Daylight. This poses a problem for behaviour as it can be hard to balance survivors because of the difference between a pre-made team and a group of solo queues. To try and level the playing field, I think they should add an indicator to show what each character is doing. If a survivor is on a gen, there's a little gen symbol next to their portrait. If they're being chased, there's a little chase icon, etc. This isn't too useful for survivor friends who are on comms, but would greatly help solo queue players. For example, if a survivor is hooked and they see that the other survivor is being chased, they could then go for the save. Quality of life change 4. Endorsements. This change would hopefully help reduce toxicity. In case you've never played a game with an endorsement system, let me briefly explain what it is. Endorsement systems allow you to reward other players after a game is finished. An example of a game with one of these systems would be Overwatch. You get to choose which player gets rewarded. So if you play with a killer who had fun chases, or a survivor who risked their lives to save you, you can endorse them. Likewise, if a player decides to play explicitly mean, like letting all 4 survivors bleed out or by keeping the game hostage as a survivor by hiding in a corner, you could choose not to endorse them. While this change would definitely not remove toxicity, I think it could hopefully convince some players to play a bit more fair. The rewards could be a blood points multiplier or just a set amount of blood points. Quality of life change 5. Blood web changes. With the new prestige system, accompanied with the reduced cost of all items in the blood web, the grind of the Badella is actually in a nice spot right now. The only problem I have with it is how long it actually takes to spend the blood points you earn. Currently, the blood web itself is too slow. I mean, it took O Starver one whole hour just to spend his blood points to get P3 Nemesis. Luckily, there are some simple changes that can be made to make it faster. You can make it so you have to double click nodes instead of holding it down. You can remove the red screen that says your current level. Here's an idea Reddit user Biblical Bullwormer had where they suggested that you could just select a node at the edge of the web and it'll buy all the nodes that lead to it. I think this specific idea would help a lot. That's all the quality of life changes I have for the moment. If you have any ideas for any quality of life changes you'd want in Dead by Daylight, please leave a comment down below. That's all I have for now. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch my other videos or subscribe so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you and goodbye.